Good evening, this is a uh, tutorial video uh, for a specific weapon, for a specific problem. Now before we get into that, let's go over some legal aspects. This is an airsoft weapon. It fires uh, these small little plastic BBs. It cannot be converted to fire live ammunition in any way and uses gas as a propellant in these three magazines. Uh, as you saw, the magazines are empty, the weapon is empty, so we've got no problem with safety on this occasion. So I hope I'm not wearing any goggles. So let's go on with the uh, the weapon. So the weapon in this case is a WeTech Beretta M92F uh, pistol. Uh, it is from their Resident Evil range. Uh, because of that, it's got stars written along there and uh, Raccoon Police Department. Stars on the hand grip, stars on the other side, and uh, Samurai Edge, uh, which was the uh, range of Beretta guns made in Resident Evil for the characters by Kendo's Gun Shops, if you remember the trivia of the game. Right, so the problem. It's so basically to do with the slide and the magazine's uh, mechanism not all engaging at the same time in order to lock the slide back. What I mean by this is, in real life, as these operate like the real life counterparts, put the magazine in, no BBs or rounds, as soon as you wrap the slide back it should lock, like so. As soon as you fire the weapon, safety off, it should lock, like so each and every single time. However, the problem this weapon suffers with the magazine and the slide is that it doesn't lock back when you've finished off the last BB. And I'll demonstrate what I mean by this and I'll do that by holding the slide release catch down as this demonstrates what I need to. And obviously as you can see there are no BBs in that magazine or in the chamber and yet it still keeps cycling. That's the problem we're going to address today. So how does this all work? Well, as you can see, this is the top of the magazine. Right about there, if I can just show it to you, there's a little nib on the left hand side and that is where the BBs go. On the side there you should be able to see, hopefully, a black block and it's going up and down. That is what tells a slide release catch to lock on the weapon. So, to fix this problem, first we need a clean working area. I've got my cutting mat here, which I use. And you only need one tool. Now I've got my levermans to use, but all you really need is just the uh, fat flathead side bit of it. And all it is is really just untensioning a spring. So, to start off with, we know the weapon's empty. Press the button on this side, this black nib here. Rotate the lever and the slide should move forward slightly and you remove it off and put it to one side. There's a weapon. Using your flathead screwdriver, undo these two screws. Point to note, undo this side, which is the left side if you're right-handed only, um, or pointing the weapon away from you rather. You do not want to undo the other side because there's a spring in there that if it pops out you're going to have a hard time putting it back in. So remove this out and put it out of the way. Uh -uh. Another point to note is the magazine release catch. Uh, if that falls out you're going to have to, you have to put it in and it's quite awkward. Um, so try and keep it in there if you can. Keep one finger on it if necessary. All you have to do really is just remove this part here. Put it straight out and you've got the spring. Pop the spring back on, like so. So you have, you'll see the springs in two parts. You have the uh, a long part and a short part. And the short part has a slight hook to it, as you can see there. And it goes on, round this way, long part towards this end. Rotate that down and leave the short part as it is. Now the way we do this, we tech do this, is they rotate that short part all the way around to the other side. And that makes it too tight, the tension's too high and it causes the magazine to hold down. This little nubbin you see here, that little circle bit, that is essentially what engages the magazine and pushes 
and the magazine pushes up on that bit and that's what causes the slide to lock back. But if the tension is too high, it uh, pushes down on the magazine rather than the magazine pushing up on it. You want to leave it as such, um, leave it like that and uh, you should be good to go. Okay, so let's put it back together. So we've untensioned the spring um, and we just put the weapon back together. As I said, we tech did it the hard way. I found this pretty much easy to do first time. Uh, trying to put it the WeTech way around is actually quite hard as you have to wrap the whole thing around. So just pop it in straight in there. It's nice and easy. Cover goes back on. Screws go back in. Also, whilst you're here, you might as well take some time to re-lube the weapon, clean it down, re-lube it. Sometimes if it gets sticky underneath that, that's what causes the spring to, to hold the whole mechanism together. So just that sometimes, just needs a bit of uh, lubing. As you can see, it's, it's quite loose, but it doesn't affect functionality of the weapon in any way, sort of, or whatever. Put the slide back on. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. Uh, no need to do anything special and pull the trigger, it works perfectly fine. Marvellous. Magazine back in, should lock back, marvellous and brilliant. And that's it. That's all there is to it, is just untensioning a spring that WeTech put on incorrectly.